Hey, this is Maya Sharp, and you're watching 101.9 Kink in the Skype Live studio. Thank you. Maya Sharp here in the Skype Live studio. And, of course, Linda, you were here with us last time. What, was it two years ago? Uh, I'm or, really, really bad at that. I'm yeah, going to say, yeah, it was about two years ago. And then I think about three years ago, too. Three, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, what's interesting is you actually played that very song yes. two years ago. When you, was anybody who was in the crowd last time? I know some of you would have been oh, here. nice. But you got a, it, it's a, it's a different... It's a different song. It's a it's evolved since then. Yeah, the song has had a lot of lives. When it when it was first written, it was kind of a slow and slinky thing, and the production was pretty sparing. I think it was like a a jazz quintet kind of an approach. I know it sounds like it's very far away from where it is now. And uh, I actually had I think I took about three swings at it, and. Every swing, I got attached to some little line along the way. And then when Linda Taylor and I signed on to co-produce this album, I handed it over to her, and she was like, yeah, no. We're going to start over with this. Wow, so you <laughs> broke it all back down. Well, it, you know, this is one of the huge advantages of that, because I get attached along the way. I'm the one that's in the writing room. I'm the one that... that hears it in kind of all of its phases and I it makes it harder to hear sometimes what the final version really has to be she wasn't attached to any of those things so she was like okay so we're going to take it 17 clicks up and we're going to put horns on it and we're going to put strings on it and percussion on it and you're not even going to recognize it when it's done but it's going to be awesome and there it is. <laughs> it's a, it's a, uh, the lead single off of your album, The Dash Between the Dates. Yeah. And uh, it's a great record. Um, Thank you. How does that feel as, as an artist, though, when you have somebody come in? I know you and Linda are, are good friends, but mm -hmm. when she's like, no, 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 we're going to, how does that feel, though? Like, you put three years into this. <laughs> yeah, but I also, I also have been doing this long enough to recognize the pitfalls of, of that. I, I have been attached to things in the past that weren't necessarily um, uh, things that I should have been. And, and to have just a fresh vision on the song really just ends up saving me a lot of time. Sure. Is the, uh, did you approach this album differently than you have your previous records before? Uh, it's just a different version of that because Linda brings, she brings a whole other set of skills. She, she brings, you know, kind of a mastery of the non-organic. So she, she has a sample library and she's not afraid to use it. So we, we found a way to find that hybrid between the non-organic and, and, and the live player sound and it took me a, it took me a minute to really embrace that but once i did i love it how often um going going back to you playing that song for us here two two and a half years ago <laughs> how often do you introduce m new material like that and then just kind of sit on it and see see where it goes is all of your stuff that way or is that was that a, an odd thing that was an odd thing yeah i don't i don't remember that ever happening before it, that song just for some reason it just needed a few swings before it, you know, it really found what it had to be. And um, I'll tell you, it was supposed to be, I didn't, I didn't realize this. Maybe this is something I should like, I don't know. I should see a, you know, a therapist about or something, but I, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize it, but that song is just supposed to be fun. Yeah. It's just, it's just supposed to want to make you turn off your mind and turn on your hips. You know, this is just, it's just supposed to be fun. And I was kind of looking for the deeper in it. And it, you know what? It's just supposed to be fun. It's supposed to have horns and the castanets and the tubular bells. And it's supposed to make you just, sure. just want to dance. Yeah. And once that sunk in, I was like, oh yeah. Okay. This is going to be its final home. Well, the album is called the dash between the dates and I'd love to, can we hear more from it? Can we hear more music? We can. We're actually going to do uh, we're going to do three more tunes from the new album. We're just going to throw our hats over the wall and stay on the new album. <laughs> 